Hello and welcome to the June 2020 Gaming PC Builds of the Month, brought to you by NewComputerBuild.com. My name is Corey. Here we have the $1,500 build, the $1,000 build, the $700 build, and the $500 builds for June 2020. Uh, these builds, you may have noticed if you were building a PC in the last little while, that prices have gone up uh, with regards to most hardware. Uh, and that's because there's a greater demand for hardware right now with people, more people uh, wanting to do something at home while they're uh, isolated at home and more people working from home and needing uh, computers in order to do so. But we're now seeing prices finally, finally get more reasonable. And that, um, and what that means is that we were able to actually put in the higher quality hardware into some of the builds uh, this month uh, with these various different budgets. So first and foremost, the budgets are kind of arranged based on performance and resolutions. So do orient your build around first, how much you have to spend, and secondly, what sort of performance you want out of the games that you want to play and at what resolution. So let's start off with the most expensive build. That is the $1,500 gaming PC build. This build is for those that want to extreme at, uh, play games maxed out at most all resolutions and play good gameplay even to, into 4K. So you can have high FPS gameplay at 1080p or uh, 1440p, for example. If that is you, then this build is for you. The CPU for this build is the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, and it comes in at a really good price this month at $274.49. This comes with a stock AMD Wraith Prism cooler, which you have the option to upgrade if you want, if you want to overclock the heck out of this thing. Uh, but I find this cooler does a uh, pretty good stock, so uh, um, that might not be for all of you, but I do like the Wraith Prism cooler. The motherboard we have is the ASUS AM4 Tough Gaming. Uh, TUF Gaming, <laughs> X570 Plus. This is a premium motherboard, comes with Wi-Fi uh, included. Um, and this comes in at $189.99. Graphics card is Asus GeForce RTX 27 Super, overclocked edition one at $527.05. This is the real power driver for this build. And is one of the greatest bang for your bucks cards out there in terms of performance. If you do want to get more performance, you could bump it up to a RTX uh, 2070, or sorry, we have the 2070, the 2080 uh, Super, uh, with, but you'll have to dish out, uh, dish out quite a bit more cash, but I would consider that if you are really, truly considering 4K uh, resolution gaming. Uh, memory, we have is a Crucial Ballistics 3200 MHz DDR4 setup here uh, for a total of 16 gigabytes. That's 2 gb 6 for $73.99. This uh, storage we have is this... Uh, Western Digital Black, uh, one terabyte NVMe, uh, super quick SSD for $163.99. Power supplies. These have been a little tough to get your hands on lately. Uh, generally, uh, for this build, we had the EVGA Supernova 750P2 uh, Platinum, so highly efficient, fully modular. However, it's not really available, and it's or it's really, really expensive, and you shouldn't be uh, spending that much on your power supply. But what we have this month is the ASUS ROG Strix 750 fully modular. It's an 80 uh, plus gold rated one, so it's highly efficient. And this comes in at $154.99. And in my opinion, is a little more spiffy looking than most power supplies. Anyways, uh, the case I have here is uh, one of my favorites, the NZXT uh, H510i. Uh, this is a this is a really slick looking case. I, I, I quite like this case. Uh, comes in $109.98. And for a total of $1,495 is the estimated budget for this build this month. We come in just shy under our $1,500 budget. Moving on, the next build, the $1,000 gaming PC build. Again, this build is probably for those that want to max extreme settings, 1080p, high, resolu uh, high FPS at those re resolutions, or higher settings at the 2K resolutions. Uh, and you probably max most games out to 2K resolutions as well, if we're being honest. Um, the CPU for this build is the Ryzen 5 3600X uh, with the Wraith Spire Prism Cooler. And this comes at $204.99. Motherboard we have is the Asus ROG Strix B450F uh, gaming quote-unquote motherboard. Uh, it's a B450 board that uh, supports the CPU and um, comes in at $129.99. Again, some motherboards have been a little low on supply as well, so do keep an eye out for that. Uh, you could also consider used boards uh, if, if it comes down to that. Uh, but otherwise, this one should be in stock uh, lately, and, and more motherboards are coming into stock as, as time goes on here. Uh, the graphics card we have is, have is the XFX RX 5700 XT, um, fantastic uh, graphics card, 8 gigabyte, uh, 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 uh, memory in this one, 379.99 cents. 
memory we have is again it's a crucial ballistics 3200 ddr4 16 gigabyte kit 73 dollars 99 cents we have the uh, 500 gigabyte western digital black nvme ssd for 79.74 uh, we have the 650 watt uh, version of the Asus ROG Strix modular power supply here at $82.12. And then finally, the PC case for the $1,000 gaming PC build is the Fantex Eclipse P350X at $69.99. This comes in at $1,069 for June 2020. So again, it's a little over budget. If you do want to get it closer to that $1,000, uh, uh, you might be able to find maybe a cheaper uh, power supply. Uh, but uh, you could consider downgrading the storage a bit. Uh, but I wouldn't really downgrade it too much because you should be able to get it closer to a thousand as the month goes on, in my opinion. Uh, so I would try to stick to this hardware. Otherwise, we can bump down to the $700 gaming PC build. This is really that standard build. This is the build for those that just want to get up and gaming at 1080, 1080p and just game, no worries, just play games and not worry about anything, but uh, getting a PC at a good cost. Well, I'm not worrying about the performance of your uh, games at 1080p. Uh, TPU for this one is AMD Ryzen 5 3600. Uh, this is a really good price right now at $167.99. Again, comes with the Race Stealth Cooler. Motherboard we have for this one is the Asus Tough B450M Plus Gaming uh, Motherboard. This is a micro ATX board, so a smaller form factor at $89.99. And then the graphics card we have is the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Super. Um, <laughs> don't know why I have that at the end there, but 1660 uh, Super. Uh, or you can bump that up to a 5600 XT uh, if you have the cache, but this comes at 249.84. The memory memory we have for this one is the Crucial Ballistics 2400 at uh, eight gigabyte kit for two four gigabyte sticks at 34.99. And then the storage we have is the Western Digital Black 250 gigabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, you see a trend, I've been using this one, but just downgrading the storage uh, for each one of these builds, but $62.99. Power supply is a bit, bit different for this one as well. Uh, Gigabyte PB500, 500 watt, bronze rated, so it's not the most efficient power supply, but it is available and it, it is recommended um, right now uh, for $75.57. And then the case to go with this build, to kind of bring it all together, is a, a small form factor micro ATX case, the Cooler Master uh, Master Box uh, Q500L. This is a uh, really... Uh, a cool looking case, and I really like the small form factor cases because it keeps everything nice and compact. This comes at $59.99 for a total of just over our budget again, uh, $741. But that uh, that being said, some of this hardware should come down in price. Uh, but for to keep the same kind of performance value of this build, uh, we kept most of the most of the hardware as is. Uh, but the graphics card might come down, for example. Uh, moving on, finally, this build is that console killer $500 gaming PC build. Uh, this is that build for those that just want to get out of console gaming into PC gaming and get better performance. That's really what this is. Um, the CPU, AMD Ryzen 5 2600, again, comes with a cooler, Raid Stealth cooler, included 15476. Motherboard, MSI Pro Series, um, B450M Pro, uh, Max, comes compatible with the CPU, 7499. Uh, graphics card, XFX RX 570, 4GB card, um, at 14174. Memory, Crucial Ballistics 2400. 8 gigabyte kit, $34.99, and then we have a SATA SSD, the Western Digital Blue, uh, 250 gigabyte, $45.99, power supply, gigabyte P8, uh, P8, PB500, uh, uh, 500 watt uh, bronze rated power supply, $55.99, and then again, here's that micro ATX case again, the Cooler Master Q500L Master Box at $59.99. All right, that does it for all of the builds this month. Uh, do visit the site at noobcomputable.com for uh, all the links to the hardware, and, and we do uh, expand on each one of these as well, include alternative hardware for each of the builds in, in case you have more to spend or want upgrade suggestions for the future. Um, until next month, happy building. If you have a question, leave a comment below.